Okay, Windows key R, percent app data percent. This gets you to your Minecraft folder. Minecraft uh, versions. You want to copy the whole thing and make a backup of it. That's the backup. This is going to be your mod. Now, I have Optifine, so I'm just going to call this 1.2.50. And you want to come into the JSON file, open it with um, WordPad, as you can see. And you type 1.2.5. This is the one you want to delete. That. This will try to download the game, which obviously you don't want it to do because you have modified the game. So you cut that. And then you need to go down here to 1.2.5 and put in an O for Optifine. If you hold Control and press S, it'll save the file. Now, because we did that, we need to change all these to O to differentiate it from the actual 1.2.5, which I already did there. And then you need to open this in 7-zip. Hmm, there we go. Delete the meta INF. Open this in 7-zip. Copy everything. Drag it over to the other 7-zip. Not in a folder. And that should be... Should have done it almost instantly. Yes. Good. Okay. Close that. Close that. Close the mod. Close that and then we run Minecraft and your mod should work now. Just gonna have to select it from the launcher options. Oh. Oh. I didn't, I didn't change the name, did I? Oh. Oh. Save. This will run Optifine. And what it does is it skips downloading it from the server. So as you can see, this is clearly Optifine. This has got all the Optifine settings and stuff. It doesn't say it anywhere, but I'm sure it'll say it if I went into a game. I press F3. Uh, Optifine, yeah, you can see it. Um, right here. Optifine 1.2.5 HD6, that's what I installed. So that is how you install mods on older versions. You have to edit that uh, JSON file. Bye.